welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side of the nine here in a bit of a wild and windy Blackpool. Oh my goodness, the weather has really taken a turn for the worst lately. You know, it's just the other day I was outside and I could feel the heat from the sun. And honestly, I, I felt like I was getting cooked. It was that hot. And that was just a couple of days ago. And now, well, yesterday, at Wednesday, it, it was non-stop rain from start to finish. We had a yellow alert for rain. And that yellow alert continued into today. But at last, it's actually stopped raining. But the wind, my goodness, the wind is whipping off that sea. I'm here at Manchester Square. It has stopped raining, which is good. But I tell you what, it's freezing. Okay, so this is where I am, Manchester Square. Hey, check it out. We've got a tractor there. I wonder what that's doing on Blackpool Promenade. Now there's a Manchester pub just over there. And just down here we've got an Elmer. Check it out. And I'm on this mound here. And these are the pipes of poo. The pipes of poo otherwise known as venting blades yeah so uh, these will be to extract the fumes from the the service treatment works which is uh, what i'm stood on top of at the moment i just want to give you a look over here just look at this oh look at this view folks just look at that it's wild out there folks the tide is on its way out but just listen to that You know, I've said it before a few times that uh, it doesn't matter what the weather's like here in Blackpool, that uh, it doesn't put people off, you know, it really doesn't. I mean, you could be here in the middle of winter and there could be a storm going on. And, you know, I think it's great to watch the storm to me. I love to come out and watch them and watch the sea come in over the, the, the sea wall and all that sort of thing. So there you go. Even though the weather is not great today, typical British weather we've got to go from really warm the other day to stormy and cold the next. But uh, we just get on with it, don't we? So I'll just give you a little look around this area here. You know, back in the olden days, there used to be, uh, well, there used to be like a black and white um, chimney there, and that was, what was replaced by these uh, fancy venting blade things or the pipes of poo as I call them uh, it was, was there not too long ago uh, before they built this this new uh, building here and there was also a windmill back in the olden days I believe there's a windmill on top of uh, on top of here I think yeah of course this is where Blackpool got its name from because it's where Spendike runs in or well, used to to run onto the to the sea creating the Blackpool which gave Blackpool its name yeah and they've actually been mowing the lawns around here look at that there look they've actually mowed with that lawn there yeah there you go Manchester Square pumping station it's like someone's uh, sleeping rough there doesn't it you do get some rough sleepers in there that's really sad that isn't it? At least they're sheltered from the wind because the wind is coming from the west today. It's coming right off that sea. Yeah, and just on this side we've got some more venting blades over here. Now they do actually light up these and they look quite nice at night. But I'm not sure whether the I haven't seen them lit up for a while, so I don't know whether the lights still work. 
So these are the lights just down here, like purple, purple LEDs. So it's actually a, a, a nice little viewpoint this, just stood up on here. You get a good view of the beach, because we're a little bit higher up. There you go, you can see the central pier over there. Let's have a little look around here, what can we see? The Blackpool Tower of course. Craggy Don Hotel over there. The Balmoral. And the Royal Sea Bank, which is a Blackpool Promotions Hotel. Go. Okay, I've just moved up a little bit and I want to show you something over here. Now, this is the old Foxhall pub and the Reflex. This is actually where the first proper building was in a black It was called Foxhall and it was a holiday home for the Tilsey family. But now look at it. They've actually got the sign up now. Mark Kelly's. Mark Kelly's on the prom. Check it out. And the legends sports bar. I think that this could be quite popular. It's the newest venue on Blackpool Promenade and it's now owned by Mark Kelly. Check it out. So will you be going to the new Mark Kelly's here? On the promenade at Foxhall, yeah? And what about the history? Check out the blue plaque. Oh, hopefully they won't get rid of the blue plaque. The blue plaque's on the corner that tells you that it was the oldest house in Blackpool. But anyway, um, I'm just going to head onto the beach. Bit of a quick video, this one. I just want to bring you a bit of Blackpool midweek. As the... Oh, I can feel that wind coming right towards me. It's a... Well... I can't complain, can I? Because it's a nice, fresh sea air coming on. I'm just going to head down onto the beach now. Just look at this foam here and the way that the wind is making it all wobble like, like jelly. That looks amazing that by the way. You can see all different colours in the bubbles. Wow. It's looking a bit deserted on the beach. Look at that sign there. Jet skis and speedboats must not exceed 8 knots within 200 metres of low water. I don't think I've seen a jet ski going that slow before. Oh, can you hear that? That wind is coming right at me now. It is pretty wild out there today. You know, it's a bit weird to see pigeons on the beach. I don't normally notice pigeons on the beach. Look at this seaweed here. Check it out. Yeah, you get a lot of stuff uh, coming in off the tide. I'll have to get myself uh, a metal detector. Metal detecting. I've never even tried metal detecting. I might be missing out. I want to take you right up to the water's edge. At the Back of the central pier, here we go. Seagulls are all running away from me. Oh, check this out. If you can't come to Blackpool, I bring it to you. There's a view towards the Pleasure Beach. So this is how it looks in Blackpool on Thursday. I think it's looking better for the weekend. I think it's a bank holiday weekend this weekend, isn't it? Yeah, hopefully this will have passed over. And yeah, you can see through there to the North Pier. Look at that, isn't it awesome? 
that is a big wheel it's not going round today so it doesn't look like it's uh, it's open for business today does it uh, anyway we're going to head under the central pier here we go look at this wow you know it's amazing walking under these piers it really is and just look at this pier we've got on the other side blackpool tower there you go and as we look towards the lollipops you can see they're pretty bent over there aren't they look at that wow the rain's starting to come down again now as well yeah i can feel the rain coming down again now the central pier is open by the way you can walk on it but it doesn't look like the rides aren't going today but uh, i think they will be going this weekend hopefully the weather will improve a little bit but this was just a quick video for you today i wanted to go out yesterday in the rain but unfortunately i never got a chance to go out but i know the blackpool lads did a video yesterday in the rain so if you want to check out another channel of blackpool check out the blackpool lads on youtube anyway that's it for this video i hope you like this little bit of blackpool that i brought to you a little bit stormy if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one